Hello and welcome to the second part of our Europe trip. This trip includes a journey me and Robert took to the countries of Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. Our main mission of this trip was to find the famous spot in Norway called Trolltunga and then camp out next to it. So, after saying goodbye to our friends, we packed our bags and got ready for the trip. In the first part of our journey, we decided to book it to Copenhagen in one day. Also, if you didn't know, German autobahns don't actually have a speed limit. Like, you sit in the car, and something's like... First stop, Germany. Also, some of us were driving on three hours of sleep. Snacky is on the what, almost Danish border, right? Yeah. Almost, and you just spent 100, sorry, 96 euros on Super 10 gas, this is. Super 10. Super 10. Um, which sounds cool, but it's not. I'm eating Phantom Mintos. After traveling for a while, we stopped off in the Danish city of Odense for dinner. Odense was a really cool place, and it was a shame that we couldn't stay there longer. After dinner, it was time to head back on the scenic road to Copenhagen. It's three o'clock in the morning As the rain begins to fall But I know what I needed But I don't have it all I'm needing someone As you can see with Robert demonstrating I oh, am no, getting good How do I use this thing? There we go We got two sleeping bags we're in the middle of nowhere in Denmark, look, it's the countryside, and uh, I'll message you in the morning. Night night time. I don't know why, the camera makes it seem like it's light out, but it's not. I'm just taking all the light. It's like 11, it's like 11 p.m. So, yeah. See you in the morning. <laughs> After sleeping over in the Danish countryside, it was time to actually head into the city of Copenhagen. So we parked our car where no one would care and started exploring. And I have to say, out of all the cities that we visited in Europe, Copenhagen was definitely one of my favorite. What it means, what it means, and I wonder if you know what it means, what it means. And I wonder if you know what it means to find your dreams. And I wonder, I've been waiting all this my whole life, life. Something in your blouse got me feeling so aroused. What you about? 
on an independent uh, Trade it all for a husband and some kids You ever wonder what it all really mean? You wonder if you ever find your dreams? Test update. 11 hours of driving today and we slept in. The plan for today was to drive all the way from Copenhagen to the city of Oda in Norway. Our original plan was to stop off at cities like Oslo or Gothenburg on the way there, but since we slept in, this would not be possible. And if you are wondering why we are rushing to get to Oda in such a hurry, it was because there was only one day in Oda where the weather would be somewhat bearable for hiking up a mountain. Status update. We are totally behind schedule because we slept in. So, we're probably going to get to Oda at like midnight, maybe, probably later, because we still have to eat dinner. Not good. However, I do have to say, the Swedish countryside while driving through it was extremely beautiful, and I'm definitely going to come back here for a full-length trip someday. Seven hours later, we stopped in the Norwegian city of Drammen to get dinner. We ate dinner at an Italian pizza place we found on the side of a dock. And I think this goes without saying, but Norway had some of the craziest roads I've ever driven on. A bit of pain will help you suffer when you're hurt. For real, cause you were driving me crazy. By your lips, your words, a robbery. Inside, you're killing me All along we talked up forever I kinda think that we won't get better It's the longest start but the end is not too far away Did you know I'm here to stay? Today, we just woke up, we have to, first we have to find um, a tent, because I forgot to bring a tent, then we gotta buy some food that we can eat up there, and then all that's left to do is climb the mountain. Once we bought all our supplies, the first order of business was finding the shuttle that would take us to where the hiking started. And after that, it was time to start the hike. He was born in the summer of his 27th year Coming home to a place he'd never been before He left yesterday behind him You might say he was born again You might say he found the key for every door when he first came to the mountains, his life was far away On the road, hanging by a song But the string's already broken, and he doesn't really care It keeps changing I don't know if you can see it There it is Rocky Mountain High, Colorado, Rocky Mountain
With mission accomplished, it was time to just relax and set up camp. He climbed the feet of mountains, he saw silver clouds below. He saw everything as far as you can see. And they say that he got crazy once and he tried to touch the sun. And he lost a friend but kept the memory. like 8 30. I'm gonna try to go to bed now. Alright, it's like 9 9 p.m. I'm gonna go to bed now. Or try to go anyways. Even though even though it's 9 p.m. it's like uh completely light outside so The next day we got up nice and early to make our way back down to Oda. We both got pretty much no sleep due to the wind that picked up during the night, and because our tent was right next to the cliff edge. Also, when I told you that we bought some food before our trek, I meant we only bought four sandwiches, which meant that we were really hungry and we were speed running our way down. So when we got down we had a huge pizza, and then took a three hour power nap. After our amazing nap, it was time to continue the rest of the journey. From Oda, we would be driving to the coastal city of Bergen. On the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There were sand and hills and rain. The first thing I met was a fly with Day we had to head to the city of Kristiansand in the south of Norway. This is because from Kristiansand we'd be taking a ferry all the way back to Netherlands. We had some time in between though, so we visited some cool sites like this waterfall. What, 30 minutes from Christian yes, Sen? 28. Tomorrow we take the ferry, but this is our sleeping arrangement for tonight. As you can see, we got the two sleeping bags. Uno, dos, and yeah. I'll uh, see you in the morning. Peace. Sand and hills and rain. The ocean is a desert with its life underground and the perfect disguise above. Under the cities lies a heart made of brown, but the humans will give no love. You see, I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. In the desert, you can't remember your name. Cause there ain't no one more to give you no pain. Ah, ah, ah.